Hello and welcome to another Magical Voxel tutorial. In this one, I will show you how easy it is to uh, create sci-fi looking scenes using uh, my asset pack. I will be using assets from my asset pack on my Patreon, which was $2.50. So if you'd like to get access to 50 plus assets to use in your sci-fi scenes, you can get them here. I've also provided a free version that has roughly 10 or so assets that you can use in your scenes. Just a quick clarification, this tutorial isn't limited to just using my asset pack. So if you do not want to use my asset pack, you can recreate your own assets and use it in Magic of Oxel, as I'll show you later in the video. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're in Magical Voxel now. We're gonna keep things simple and go ahead and just, I'm just gonna set it to 1 to 28. And I'm delete the cube by pressing delete. And then just attach a few faces to create a floor and some walls. I've made mine five voxels thick on both the walls and the floor. I'm going to go ahead and just select this to create a new palette. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and find um, a camera position I like. And I typically like setting it to orthogonal view. So I'm going to press this button right here. Position it where you want the, um, the um, camera to be. Press 7 on your keyboard. And now it's saved to that camera position. So if I'm editing something, let's say here, and I want to go back and take a picture of my work, I can just press eight on the keyboard and it'll recenter the camera based on my last save. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and start giving some texture to these walls. And we're going to be using the pattern brush to do this. So I'm going to go over here to the star icon. And this is the pattern tab. And I want to find where I saved my sci-fi assets. And we're going to go over here on this side, click on the star icon again, and come over here. And now you can see this selected pattern is trying to be replicated over here. Let me just change the color of the actual voxel so you can see it clearly. Um, so I can choose from a list of things over here. And what's cool is I don't have to, if I wanted to like delete this, I didn't ha I don't have to go over here and go to erase. I can keep it on attach and holding shift on my keyboard. It automatically toggles it to erase. When I let go of shift, it attaches and I press shift, it's erasing. And if I want to change the orientation, you can use the nine zero plus or minus keys on your keyboard to orient the pattern to your liking. So I'm gonna go ahead and just experiment and see what kind of shapes I create using the pattern tool. I recommend going back and forth between your model view and render view to see what it looks like. And we're literally just gonna, I'm actually just gonna go and experiment and see what I think looks best. So I've wanted to add the pattern, but I want to resize it. You can go over, uh, press tab on the, the keyboard and you enter this world view. Go over here and find the selected pattern you want to bring in as an object and press this plus icon. It brings it in as a separate object. And now I can go over here and scaling and scale it to how I like it. And I'm gonna use this as the floor.
Okay, now that that's done, I can go ahead and give the wall some more texture. And just seeing what looks good. And of course, you don't have to use the pattern brush to decorate your walls. Um, you can also go in and manually get rid of stuff. Okay, now that we have something like this, that's pretty much basically it. That probably only took like 8 minutes or so to get a really cool looking um, texture on both your walls, floor, and 
assets and it really opens the field playing field on what you can do instead of manually going in and creating things from uh, scratch um, while we're here you can also um, change the lighting settings to your liking Here we have basically this cool little sci-fi room that we made in Magic of Voxel purely, well, almost purely based off of assets. And these assets I literally just uh, created like on a separate um, on a separate like project. So I, I'm just gonna save this real fast. So if I go over to um, my projects tab over here and click new project and I just quickly make something like that let's say I wanted uh, this to be an asset I can just go ahead and save this title this I'm just gonna title this new asset now it's saved as a new asset um, or it's saved as a vox file and now if I go in, create a new project, and I go over to my pattern section, and go out to where I save the uh, new asset, should be right here. And now I just do what I did before, click the star icon to attach setting. And if I hold shift, you can see I am uh, erasing the cube over here with our new pattern. So while this tutorial was fo uh, mostly focused on using assets from uh, my pack, you can create your own assets and use them in Magic Voxel really easily to create um, stuff you wouldn't have ever thought about before. And I find this very useful because you'll just be messing around using the pattern tool and then you'll uh, create something that you think looks good that you haven't thought of before and that's really the ultimate goal of Magic of Oxel in my opinion is so even with our simple pattern we were able to create intricate looking objects like this one in mere minutes so hopefully this video has helped thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video